Hello friends, welcome again. In this video I'm going to test if we can create a product. But before that I'm going to open the PHP Storm and here open the PHP unit XML because I'm going to uncomment this and the SQLite and work with the memory in SQLite. And that is because I have created the user called admin and I changed the is admin to one. So if I, I am logged in as admin and if I go to the dashboard, okay, the user name is admin. And if I go to the products and create, yeah, I can visit this product because I am as admin. And also if I run the test, everything is working. So artisan test, yeah, all green. Now uh, I'm going to create a new test for the uh, create, update and delete the product. So artisan make test and products product grad test. Okay. Close this and now first I'm going to open the product test and here we see if this user if the admin user can visit the product create route and in the web route now we have this index method but I'm going to change the sh show the edit or create sorry create form which is not uh, in the post controller so if I open the post controller we don't have that and if I open the terminal and make a test artisan test we have fail that 200 is not is identical to 500 and this acting as admin get product create product controller create does not exist so let's go and uh, create that public function create and I'm going to return view. And the view is not yet here. So I'm going to create and run a test again. And now we have another error view products create not found. So let's create that. First, I'm going to open the resources, views, products, and create new file here. Uh, create dot blade dot php, and I'm going to copy what we have in here. Select all copy and paste here. Just here I'm going to go back and we don't need that because this route is uh, protected by admin so anchor tag to go to the slash products and say back okay and here we need the form to create So I'm going to just the save form. Okay. And also in the index, add the link here to go to the products slash products slash create. Okay, close, close this one. And if I refresh now, yeah. Here we have a back link and the form. We need the style, but I'm going to Add the title in CSS in the behind the scenes in the next video. So let's uh, make the 
the work for the if we can create a product uh, so for that we need a road and we need the product controller but I'm going to make test first and after that so open the product grad test okay remove all of this and create new function and I'm going to call it test that admin can store new product Okay, and with that first now we need the we need to use the, the database or so use refresh database and first we need the user so dollar sign admin we need admin user is going to be the same thing we have in the product test so i'm going to copy this for quick save some times and paste it here okay uh, after the user now i'm going to say dollar sign response and this dollar sign this acting as uh, admin And now here we need the post post and the URL is slash products. We don't have that post method, but we are going to see the filter and after create the and here also we need to add the data. And what we need here, we need the name. Of the product, and I'm going to say to be able. The type is fruit, okay. And what we have, we have the price. The price is going to be. Uh, to 99 okay now if I uh, make a test right now we're going to fail so open this clear and artisan test because we don't have that ah yeah we just make a response and now if I call that response, so I'm going to say the response and I'm going to say assert. OK. And make a test. Yeah, we have one failed. Expected 200 but received 405. Okay, so go and create that road. We don't have that road. Open the web PHP and copy and paste this. Change this to be post the slash products the method is uh, store middleware admin and products store here and run the test again 
and now we have that the product controller store does not exist so open the controller and create that method And now I'm going to add the request, dollar sign request, and here I'm going to say product create and the request all for now. And after that, we are going to redirect. Uh, return redirect to the or return to road because we are in the Laravel 9. Re return to the road products dot index. Okay, so here we have the products index. Okay. Let's uh, test one more time, artisan test. And now we have a new filler, the expected response status code 200, but received 302. And why is that? Because in the product grad test, we create a user acting as admin and we post the products Okay, not uh, now, not assert, okay, but we need to say assert, redirect to the products, and now open the terminal and run a test, and now pass. Okay, after that, uh, what we can uh, test again we can test if we have uh, a product we if we have created the product so dollar sign response or not response dollar sign this and uh, assert count Assert count and one expected one to the product all. So we get all the product and we expect it count to be one because in the database we don't have any. Okay, here refresh. But if I open the artisan test and all passed so we have an, uh, an record in these uh, products and also we can create we can check if the database has this product so dollar sign this assert the database has and we need to add here the table which is the products And here we need to add the data, which is name table. And also what we have, just go and test, test this one first, artisan test. Okay. But if I add the type to be, for example, uh, drink and test again. We don't have that. 
artisan test. We have failure. The assert database has this product. But if I change this to be the same thing we had here, so throw it, copy, paste here, and also add the price. So price is 299. And open the terminal, make a test, everything passed. And also if I change this to be 89. We are going to fail. Yeah. And we highlighted this one. Okay. So that is for this video how we can test if we can uh, create a product. In the next video, we are going to work with uh, update and delete and so on. All the best friends, see you in the next one.